Well, we've had a pretty productive day so far, Bella, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have. You have ketchup still on your face from lunch. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, we have had a very productive day. We, it's what I kind of call maintenance Monday around here where we get stuff greased up and chains tightened and just different things like that. Had the vet in, so got a few ca heifers confirmed pregnant. A couple of cows that weren't, unfortunately, but you can't win them all every day. Uh, had a new calf born, a few eight-week-old calves weaned out of hutches, so dad's right now working on washing them up. But after we kind of did all that, the big thing we thought we would do this afternoon, since it's thawed up a little bit, we think we can get some flags in the ground, is we're going to do a little measuring today. We... I don't know, if you've seen any of the last few episodes, then what you've noticed is we've kind of keep changing our... Oh, look who arrived. <laughs> we kind of have continued to change our mind a little bit in terms of what we've wanted. And it definitely has, has changed a lot since when we first were thinking about building this with the idea that... I mean, the original idea was just kind of a standard three row and then we kind of changed that to maybe a five row with a manger up the middle... Now, uh, Tristan from Laley Woodstock, after we saw that barn, uh, the second barn from the third episode of the series, we really like the flow of all of that. And so the question is, can we get that to fit? So we're going to do some measuring to see if it's even possible, because we do have a bit of a puzzle here to try to get it into the right spot. So let's get measuring. It's kind of like plastic. So it won't fit Perfect. Okay, Bella, keep walking. Oops, my flag's stuck in. Keep walking. But walk backwards now. All the way till you get to the end. Of the tape? Of the tape, yep. without pulling too hard. That's the end. That's the end? Good. That is our first 100 feet. Put a flag there. Okay, come on this way. Let go of the rest of it. Good, come right up to the flag. Stand right beside the flag. Okay, you gotta go this way, Bella, a little more. Come my way just a step to the left. good okay we'll put that one there okay now i want you to start to roll it up okay she's gonna start rolling it up so you come with her okay keep coming until you reach me. yeah all the way all the way buddy you keep coming as fast as she can roll it up okay i think that will be the end of what we put on which means we still have room till we get to the edge of the road. So if we want, we'll be able to put on an addition onto this in a couple of years to fit a few more cows in. But So that's step one. We've got to make sure it fits from that end to that road. That's piece one, okay? Next, you want to roll up your tape. Cash, you can let go um, and come with me. The next piece of the puzzle is this municipal drain that runs through here. So there's, we've already marked out a few flags um, in the field where we know, like we cannot get you can kind of see the lumps because they replaced it not too long ago. We cannot get closer to 
that drain than those flags there. That's as close as we can build anything ever. So what we want to do is here's, let's pull this out again. Here's where I think this corner is going to be. Yep. Another two flags. Ballpark. To that halfway back to the barn is where we're going to put this chunk on. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now the question is, can we fit a manure pit in this back piece? Because we need more manure storage. Now, this is going to be the tricky part, is how do you measure over those big bags? How do you think we should do that, guys? We need to measure over top of those bags. Oh, one way. Maybe. What's one way? Bella could roll a ginormous piece of tape she could just throw it over and somebody catches it. Somebody catch it on the other side if we throw it? Do you think we can get that over? Let's set you up there for a minute. Will you hold there? Oh, you are gonna. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is gonna work perfect. Oh, like magic. We know what we're doing. Up and over. Oh, crap. Didn't get all the way over. Okay, Let's try that again. Throw a little harder. There we go, that's better. One of the things that we're going to be dealing with is, this is where we've always stored feed out here for, basically since I came home, we started using these bags, stored it over on this side of the barn. The So really, one of the things is, as nice as it would be to start in the springtime or even into the summertime in construction, we're not going to be able to because all of this feed is going to be in the way and it's going to take us until late summer, early fall in order to get rid of it. And that's what's gonna hold us up for construction. But we still wanna get everything planned and in place so that we're ready when it actually comes time. Because the challenge is, is that once spring and summer hit, then we're not going to have as much time to be able to plan this, to do the permits, to do all of that kind of stuff. So that's really, why it's so important that even though it's January and we might not build ooh, a little rough um, we might not build until fall we kind of need to make this plan sooner than later keep pulling keep pulling are you as tight as you can go oh there we go perfect is that the end of the tape? Cash, put a flag right there. Yep. Where Bella is, yes. They really always gotta be curious. They cannot possibly let us measure by ourselves, can you? Yes, Gladys, I know. Well, that's a hundred foot tape, which basically means I can put that pit, it's going to be an 80 foot, foot wide pit that we're going to have to put in, which means that I can build it 20 feet from the barn and basically get to this flag over here. Now, this flag, there's where that drain is. Okay, we got lots of space so far this way from the barn. Now we've got to measure this way and try to find where we think the center of that pit is, okay? Well, as far as the tape will go. Okay, put it down there, Bella. Now it's a round pit, so where they're standing is actually not actually where the pit is built that center is going to be more over towards where those bags are just because it's a circle and the fact that we're not on top of the drain yet means that it will fit well that gives me quite a bit of confidence actually in that we 
we're able to figure that we can fit it between this barn here and the road and this drain here, we can fit the pit between the drain and what will be the back wall of the barn. And so the fact it all fits in here works really well. I know some people have wondered as we've built this, um, you know, why wouldn't we put it on the other side? Well, that drain wraps around and then goes to the side of that barn. So we can't, we definitely won't have enough length going that way. Um, we've talked about just putting it just kind of in an open space at the back, but then it's away from everything. Um, it kind of messes up our fields and what we work and don't work. This is already kind of an area where we can make it fit in. Overall, I, I still think this is the best spot, even though we've got to just work a little harder at getting it to fit in. But that's that's actually makes me feel pretty good that we've got space and we've got just a little bit of extra space that we're not going to be worried about that last inch or two, which is kind of nice. Um, so that means that at this point going forward, we're going to go with the idea that Tristan sent us and the idea that a five row perimeter fed barn might be our best option. It's a very unique barn. Usually if it's a perimeter fed, it's six rows. So a perimeter fed five row barn is pretty unique, but man, it's going to fit in here really well. And it's going to get everything under one roof for the next several years and not give us too much space. Be a pretty efficient use of square footage, I think. So that's exciting, actually. This is, I'm feeling good. So now we perfect the design. <laughs>